I'm in a warehouse somewhere in southern Illinois with a really good friend of mine named Mike who happens to have this amazing collection. Look at all this stuff that he inherited of sports memorabilia. I mean, there's so much stuff in here that it fills this entire warehouse. Mike, where did you get all this stuff? Well, it, uh, it came, my uh, uncle died two years ago and uh, left me and my brother and two sisters all of this. And so I had to uh, kind of unbox all of it and get it all in order and uh, well he must have been a real hoarder how did he have he all this stuff he was a hoarder he had baseballs bats Holy all kinds of memorabilia God. a lot of it was a lot of it was uh, collected when he was a child well i mean just look at all these baseball cards some of this stuff must be really valuable huh well some of it yeah a lot of the good stuff we've taken out of here oh you already kind of cold through it and got all the valuable cards well not all of them, but a few of them. These are new. I mean, look cards. at this. Roger Clemens. Yeah, well. Good old, look at this guy. Ryan Sandberg. <laughs> <laughs> I don't follow sports. So I don't know much about it, but I do know that there's a lot of people that would go bonkers to be in this room. I mean, those were just baseball cards. Then you have your little photo studio set up here to photograph it all to sell it. Yes. But check this. I mean, look at all these baseballs. What's the deal with these? Well, there's we've got about 700 baseballs all together. 700? Uh, and they're all autograph, autographed? All autographed. Now, we've got more than that. Uh, not autographed, but 700 autographed baseballs. About 150 to 175 of them are all Hall of Famers. And Holy Probably most cow. of those you're shooting there are Hall of Famers. Oh, and then there's more over here. Look at that. Yeah. Dang. Well, yeah, there's a... There's Shells and shells of them. Holy right cow. Them. Just look at all this stuff. Look at even all these old sports board games. The St. Louis Cardinals Monopoly. Monday Night Football. Wow, baseball strategy. Anybody play baseball strategy? I bet that game was fun. Wow, and then just like random little collector's items that you would, you know, like when they have like the giveaway at the ballpark Friday night kind of a deal. If you want to brush your teeth. Well, look, <laughs> a baseball bat toothbrush. Well, your uncle was a real collector. I mean, if it said baseball, he would buy it, huh? Mm -hmm. Look at this guy. New England Patriots, Jim Plunkett. He yep. looks like a nice guy. He's oral famous. Look at these cool coasters. Norman Rockwell. I remember that. How many times have you? How many times? Uh, Do Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's actually really cool. Ooh, and who's this? Well, look at who we have here. This is Anita Richmond. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I happen to know that this was a giveaway he got from Caesar's Palace in Vegas, right? Yes. But look what he did with her. She was wearing a slutty French maid costume when he got her. But what did you do? You dressed her up in a Boston Red Sox hat? I did, and I also made her a little more revealing. A Red Sox jersey? <laughs> What kind of baseball bat is this that she's holding? That's an autographed Ted Williams. Autographed baseball. Ted Williams, holy cow. Now this goes for 15,000. What first. goes for 15,000? The whole thing. Oh, you're, this mannequin with the ball bat and the jersey and the hat, all and, for 15? Yeah, and that pin's probably worth no telling what. Wow, look at this cool old Ted Williams Boston Red Sox pin, wow. Amazing, holy cow. Wait a minute. I know this probably isn't worth anything out of all this stuff, but what is the deal with this Miller Lite can? It's the coolest thing I ever got. It's pretty cool. I found it in an airplane hangar. Really? Uh, <laughs> that is super. You found that? And it also pivots so it catches the wind. Are you serious? Somebody made this out of a beer can. Out Actually, of some it, ta Lite it beer takes cans. two because this. Unfortunately. Oh, I see. That's the top. Yeah. Wow, that is super cool. See, who said drinking beer doesn't lead to anything? Ah. Wow, here's more baseballs. Dang, you weren't kidding when you said you had a lot of baseballs. But wait a minute. It's not just all balls. Look at all these baseball bats. What's the deal with these bats, Mike? Those are, uh, they're called uh, Hall of Fame bats. Hall of Fame bats, and why and are they? They, were, they started doing this several years ago, but they went back to the very beginning um, in 1938. And then oh, I see. every year thereafter, they would put out a bat with all of the Hall of Famers' names on them. Mm -hmm. 
There's a few years missing because of the war. Oh, yeah, uh, yes. Not because he's missing them. Just like they didn't do it for a few years? Yeah. Holy cow, these are amazing. Now, look, they're all like this beautiful cherry color. What, what are baseball bats made out of ash? They are, and this is the more the color of the natural. And these oh, the natural. they made those special commemorative bats, like these black bats. Black bats? Wow, I've never seen a black bat. That's cool. And then these, one, and then after the natural ones, look, you're gonna go black again. Yeah. Oh, once you go these black, these are all you commemorative black. of something or other that happened in the sport. Most of them are Baltimore Orioles or St. Louis Cardinals. My. Wow, look at all these bats. That's amazing. Come on, we're autographed. Really autographed. Holy cow! I don't even know where to go next. There's just really interesting stuff everywhere. Look at all these collectible mugs, glasses. I mean, your uncle was a collector. Look at all these sports TV or uh, VHS tapes that he collected: NBA, football, Ali, Sonny Liston. You've never seen one of them. <laughs> Look, this is a little book on tape. Well, not even tape, really. It's a book. I guess it's a thing people used to do where you listen to a, an audio book, but it was like its own little thing. You just plugged your headphones into it, listen to it. Stephen Hawking. Stan the Man, official rack -em up Oh, I see. This is just like a decorative thing you would hang up, and it would tell you all about Stan Musial's records. Cool. You hang your bats on it. Oh, you hang your bats on it. I'm sorry. What do I know? Oh, I see. On the back, it's... Yeah, oh, it's okay. Uh, interesting. Wow, look at all those VHS tapes. Amazing. All right, more baseballs. Holy cow, look at those boxes and boxes and boxes. What are in all these boxes? Books. Books? Dang, he was a reader. Uh, he is a collector, a Col hoarder. <laughs> hoarder. He bought out a library and you can see his... Oh, he bought the card catalog too back there. Yes. Dang. Wow, look how cool these old drinking glasses are. The Baseball Hall of Fame. Long ball or base hit. Count on Schmidt. Look at this guy. <laughs> Mike Boddicker. <laughs> yep, that's his name. Your great comeback in 1985. Oh my god, these are so cool. I just love this old timey stuff. Look at this guy. Go team! Look, even some Kentucky Derby stuff here. All the Kentucky Derby winners. Wow, this is cool. From 1875, the first ever Kentucky Derby river was Aristides. And it goes down. Look at all these names. I love racehorse names, man. Where do they come up with this stuff? Ben Ali, Joe Cotton. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's Secretary. the year I graduated from high school. Triple Crown winner right yeah. there. Isn't that the last one to win the Triple Crown? I think so, unless somebody wants to issue. Sonny's Halo. <laughs> it's kind of a cool name. How about this guy? Chateau Gay. Man, that's almost like porn star names. Wow, what's the deal with these jerseys hanging here? Those are all game worn jerseys. Game worn? Game worn. And all been certified. Wow, no kidding. Yeah. And, Actually, uh, there's a couple of St. Louis Browns down there. That, St. Louis Browns? They were in the same city as the St. Louis Cardinals, and they became, wow. the Saint, they became the Baltimore Orioles. And that's why my uncle became a Baltimore Oriole fan. Oh, yeah, he was loyal till the end. Whoa, what's hanging over the top of this one? What's this? That is somebody. That's his. That jersey's a two set of socks. I mean, his name's inside his pants if you want to put them on. Um, I don't really feel like it's a, my place to put on a famous baseball player's pants, but <laughs> thanks for the offer. Hey, there's also a lot of really cool old timey toys. He collected a lot of old timey toys. Um, check this out, man. Look at this. The old Lone Ranger. I mean, look at this stuff. It's still in the box, and the box is in pretty good condition. Some of this stuff is just out of this one. Tonto. Look at this. <laughs> wow, so cool. I mean, these were like the Lone Ranger. Wow, remember that stuff, guys? Look at all this stuff. Oh, here's all military collectibles. All kind of insignias. Foreign currency. Wow, that's a rice smart. That's crazy. Wow. Oh, look. A Gene Autry color book. Holy cow, I bet this stuff is worth a lot of money. Wow, look at all these collectible pins and buttons. Dang. Astros, Detroit Tigers, Baltimore Orioles. Holy cow, look at all these guys. Uh oh, look. Pete Rose. <laughs> Wow, no kidding. Wow, and then look at these pins. Holy cow. 
Roy Rogers, Gene Autry. <laughs> so neat. Oh, and he's even got some football stuff here too. Cool. Oh, and look at this. Tie, tie clips. Look, a little Budweiser tie clip. How cute. A little mini can of Budweiser on it. I love it. Or that's for if you're a boozer, if you're more of an engineer type, is a slide rule. Or say you're into bowling. They got you covered there too. Or say none of that's your deal. Say you're just like wiener dogs. <laughs> well, <laughs> or, or fly fishing. Or fly fishing. <laughs> but what about the Beverly Hillbilly? Oh, yeah. Say you're just a hillbilly. There's a little Beverly Hillbilly's uh, charm. That's cool. Oh, man. This is cool. And then look for the ladies. Say you're a Baltimore Orioles fan, but you're still sexy. Garter belt for you there. How cute is that? And then. They call oh, him underpants and ball Oh, wow. Lucky Rabbit's foot. So, oh, look. Sandy Koufax. Heard of him. Sorry for the blurriness. Man, there is just an unbelievable amount of stuff in here. Another thing I wanted to look at was all these, look at all these old programs. Every single baseball team is represented here, right? Mm -hmm. All the way from the Atlanta Braves to the Baltimore Orioles. We got the Detroit Tigers. Look, the Houston Colt 45s. Now they're called the Astros, right? Mm -hmm. Boston Braves. <laughs> Boston, a lot of things changed names over the years. Yeah, no kidding. Los Angeles Angels. Let's go. The Dodgers, of course. Look, Anaheim Stadium. The inaugural year. I have a friend who's a huge Angels fan. He would die to see that. Dodgers. Look how cool the artwork is on this. The Braves. Wow. The Cubs yearbook. White Sox. Brewers. Twins, oh, Montreal Expos, Cleveland Indians. This is out of control, man. I can't even, holy moly, the <laughs> Pirates are. The Giants, look at this guy. <laughs> oh, the Mets, Sony, and then look at this. The, this is the program for every single Super Bowl that they've ever had. I mean, all the way from like, look at that. The AFL versus NFL 1968 World Champion game. That's before they even called it the Super Bowl. Is this the first one that they called it the Super Bowl in? Yeah, there's more before this, but there. This was in uh, down. yeah 69. Wow, look at that. That's probably and look what beautiful condition this is in. I mean, the pages aren't wrinkled or anything. He really kept this stuff pristine. Oh, look, he also has all the programs from the Miss America pageants. <laughs> Man, this guy was a collector. <laughs> Cool. Oh, so she was the first Miss America, or, or this is 1959, I 59. see. Wow. Very 59 cool. to present. Wow. I mean, there's so much stuff here. It goes into another room. These are all pennants. Some of them are real old-timey, too. Look at that. Harmon Killebrew. Wow. Pennants of every size. Bazooka gum. I just love it. Wow. And then over here we got more pins and collectibles, but look at this. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of bobbleheads. Let's get them all bobbling. What do you say, guys? I'm a sucker for bobbleheads. Even this little cheerleader. Look at that. Man, there's just something real, really creepy about a bobblehead. But I don't know. Then there's this guy who's like so serious. Look at him. He looks depressed or like existential. Like he's thinking about something very important. Frank Wycheck. I don't know who you are, but lighten up. Uh, even an official NHL puck? Wow, did you ever hold an official NHL hockey puck in your hand? That's what, it, that's what it's like, man. It's got a nice heft to it. It's really cool. Like, these are the only kind of dolls that it's okay for boys to play with. Yeah. Holy cow, so interesting. But, lest you think that his uncle was just some kind of sports freak nerd, he also had a taste for the ladies. I mean, he had all of these signed pinups from these beautiful actresses. Jane Russell, remember her? Va va voom. Sophia Loren. Oh, she's one of my favorites. Look how beautiful. She signed it too. Look at that. What else does he have in here? <gasps> well, I think we all recognize this lovely lady. That's Liz Taylor. That's Jane Russell again. That's Jane Fonda. Oh, look at who's this sexy little Vixen Tanya Tucker. Hey. <gasps> Marlena Dietrich, sorry about the glare. Yikes, she's freaky. Holy cow, Connie Francis, looking good, Connie. Dang, he's got, there's Jane Russell again. That was the role that made her a real superstar, remember? The outlaw. 
where they designed that special bra that made it look like she wasn't wearing a bra. She didn't look very happy about it, but maybe she just kind of looked like that no matter what. Wow, cool. And then look at this. He's got all these Marilyn Monroe prints too. Beautiful. But one of my favorite things out of all these pinups are these old-timey glow-in-the-dark, uh, I guess you might call them porno cards from back in, back in those days. Look at this. It's, it says real small at the bottom. Expose this to light and watch it glow in the dark. So I guess the idea is you would hold it up to the light, <laughs> let it get nice and bright, and then, you know, take it in the bathroom, turn the light off, or it's all dark. You can rub one out when your mom isn't paying attention. Let's see if it works. I think I got it nice and charged up. Let's go in the bathroom and see if it glows. Turn the light off. <laughs> Sexy. Dang, there's just so much stuff in here. I mean, he collected everything. Little miniature versions of all the different baseball stadiums. You know, there's more Stan the Man pins. Look at this. Ted Williams says, drink Moxie. Look at him. <laughs> Penny. Look at this. Presenting the St. Louis Browns. Look at these guys. Or how about these old boxers? Dang, look at these guys. What is this that you're holding, Mike? Dale Earnhardt. Oh, is this signed by Dale Earnhardt? It sure is. Damn, Damn I'm uh, good. <laughs> look at his mustache. I love it. Wow, that is... Hey, that's probably worth a bit. These are all autographed. Look at that. Just boxes and boxes and stacks and stacks. and Oh, hold it. What's this? It's the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders from 1977. Holy cow. I don't think I've ever seen so many beautiful ladies in one place at one time. This, sorry, I didn't mean to try to get the glare off of it. These girls are astounding. Look at her. Man, that is the girl right there. Woo, woo. Although this girl here looks kind of sassy, like, oh yeah, what about me? I might not be in the front row, and I might not be a blonde, but I'm pretty good too. Hmm. Oh, and then there's all these binders. What are these full of? These are all patches. Patches? Oh, they would sew on the uniform? Yeah, and they're baseball, NFL, all these patches, yeah. Cardinals only, and then all of these are just individual ones that he had. Collected. Holy moly. Quite a collection. I'll say, look, that was him, Shelton. That was his last name, the collector. He even had his own jersey made because he was such a baseball nut. And. Oh, look, there he is. He was sports collector of the year in the St. Louis area in 1979. How cute. What a cool guy. Look, there he is, Uncle Nellen. Man, still, he was all a this collector. stuff's still in there that we just filmed. <laughs> it's all so this, this paper was from 1979. Holy cow! This look and that that's pretty much says it right there. I'm a baseball nut. He sure was, man. He sure was. Look, he was such a baseball nut that not only did he have you know this whole thing in the paper, but he also had his own little figure made of him. That's his initials. He had his own bat made with his signature on it, and he even had it signed his own baseball, with his own signature. Look, even the St. Louis Rams cheerleaders signed a thing for him. Cheers. Latasha. I don't know, I can't read hers. Jennifer. How nice. I mean, just look at some of this stuff. A light switch plate cover. Air freshener. Looks like that must have been an ashtray. I mean, there's that toothbrush. We already saw that. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, look. A little pool table bank. Pool your funds. Oh, wow. Look at this. I don't know what this old tree. Oh, baseball. Freak. <laughs> what did this guy do? It was an Orioles pencil sharpener. Man, they would sell you anything back then. Look at this. It's almost like baseball player paper dolls. Wow. The original Milwaukee Brewers, 1970. Look at that. Tommy Harper. You guys know who he was? Bob Locker. Phil Roof. Look at him. He looks kind of fruity. Not that there's anything wrong with being fruity. I like fruity people. Honestly, I do. Look at this. Harry Carey. Remember him? <laughs> Marbles! Oh, look at this. Old Super 8 
color home movies. Dang, The Amazing Mets of 69. You guys ever watch that one? I don't think you can get it on Netflix anymore. <laughs> Little Rascals. Fishy Tales. This one, Little Rascals, spooky hooky. Wow, look, it cost $1.88 back in the day for a Super 8 film. Oh, Shirley Temple's Pie Covered Wagon. Shirley Temple. Here's something that I thought was really cool. It looks like a scrubby brush, but guess what it is? AstroTurf. It was a sample of the original AstroTurf made by Monsanto. That was a big deal back in the day. Now, nowadays, Monsanto is a dirty word, but back then, use it to exfoliate your face. You could use it for a lot of stuff. Wow, I sure did enjoy checking out all this baseball and sports memorabilia with you, Mike. Thanks for letting us take a look at your collection. Well, you're very welcome. I'm glad somebody gets to see it, and I hope all of your wonderful viewers get to enjoy it as much as we've got to enjoy exploring it. Wow, for somebody who doesn't even like sports, I actually enjoyed looking at all this stuff quite a bit. Because while I don't like sports, I definitely like looking at weird old crap. And there is a ton of it in this warehouse.